my name is Jenna. I'm a master trainer with Club Pilates Indeed. Um, and I thought I would bring you guys a free 30 minute mat Pilates class. Today we're calling our class Butts and Guts. So get ready to sweat and get a little bit of work done. You don't need any props. Um, just need a mat and a good attitude. And if you don't have a mat, you can just use a bath towel um, or find yourself something soft to lay down on. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on our backs. So I want you guys to start by being flat on the mat with your arms down by your sides. And we're gonna start with some bridges. So you wanna have your feet hip socket distance apart, reach your arms down long by your sides. Um, I'm gonna focus on an articulated bridge today by lifting up one vertebrae at a time. But if you have any low back or disc issues, specifically in your low back, then I want you guys to think of hinging instead of articulating. So arms are by your sides. You're gonna press down through your hands and elbows, feel the backs of your arms engage, and then slowly peel your back off the mat, one vertebrae at a time, lifting your hips up, pausing when your knees, your hips, and your shoulders are in one straight line, and then you'll soften the chest, and slowly roll back down. And we're just getting warmed up here, so move nice and slow, think of moving deliberately, with control, and then slowly articulating back down. As you lift your hips up, I want you to think about reaching your knees away from your head as you lift, like you're trying to pull your body towards your feet, and then lower back down. Oftentimes with bridge, we see people push away from their feet, and it's a lot less effective in the glutes and hamstrings and the backs of the thighs. And lower down. Think of exhaling as you lift up. Inhale, pause, really feel the squeeze at the top and then slowly lower back down one vertebrae at a time. Now, I'll be offering modifications throughout class to accommodate for different levels. And I would, excuse me, I'd really just encourage you to choose the level of exercise that makes the most sense for your body today. Yeah, keep pressing through those heels, focus on really squeezing your glutes and your abdominals together at the same time as you lift, so you can keep this exercise out of your low back. Yeah, and then one more time, we're gonna lift your hips up and pause with your hips in the lifted position. See if you can really open up the chest and shoulders at the top. Lower your hips halfway and squeeze your glutes to lift back up. Lower halfway and squeeze and lift. Inhale down, exhale lift. And lower and lift. Try and keep your weight equal through all four sides of your foot. But if anything, bias your weight towards your heels just a little bit. Ooh, I don't know about you, but I'm starting to feel a little bit of burn in my tissue. Good, one more here, and then lower your hips all the way down. Now from here, um, we're just gonna take your feet a little bit wider. So think just about shoulder width apart now, a little bit on the wider side. Press through those heels, squeeze your glutes, and lift your hips up. Now with the hips a little bit wider, the only difference is you might feel a little bit more of a stretch on your hip flexors as you lift up. Um, with your feet wider, you'll probably be able to lift your hips up a little bit higher as well, which is all well and good. But I want you guys to focus on keeping the space between your hip bones that stick out right here in your rib cage as close as possible. Because if your abs aren't engaged, you could feel this one in your back, and that's not what we're going for here. Now, all about that tushy today. Press through those heels, squeeze the lift, and back down, and exhale up and back down. But if you can take advantage of that stretch in the hip flexors at the top, that's perfect. Yeah? One more time. Now we're gonna go back to your pulses. So lower halfway and squeeze and lift. And lower halfway and squeeze and lift. Good, nice job guys, hang in there. Press those heels, really squeeze your buns at the top. Focus on feeling the exercise where you should feel it and let go of what you don't need, right? So relax your head, relax your neck, relax your jaw, pause with your hips lifted, inhale, lift up a little bit higher, and then slowly roll back down one vertebrae at a time. Whew. Walking your feet back to parallel, hip socket distance apart, and then we're gonna bring your arms back behind your head and create like a little cradle for your head and neck to hang in, and we're gonna go into a chest lift. So I want you to exhale, try and lift your shoulder blades all the way up off the mat, and then slowly lower back down. Now this class is butts and guts, so the guts are coming. This is the warm up for the guts, yeah? Exhale, lift. Focus on incorporating your breath. The deeper you can exhale as you lift your chest up and blow all the air out of your belly, the more thorough of an abdominal contraction you're gonna get. Which is really the best case scenario, right? Exhale, lift. 
Keep those elbows nice and wide. Think about sinking your shoulders away from your ears. So the only thing moving is your rib cage pulling towards your hip bones. The rest of the upper body is staying stable and still moving all in one piece. Exhale up and back down. Now I want you guys to pause in the lifted position on this next one and we're gonna add rotation. So twist from one side to the other. One side to the other. And you guys, maybe you'll notice how small this twist is, right? It's not a big, huge thing because I want you to focus on keeping your pelvis and your legs really stable and still as you just twist in the upper body. Focus on feeling the abs, specifically the obliques, those side abs as you twist. You can always lower your head and chest down between repetitions. Try and hang in there. Gotta make it burn. We'll do one more on each side. Staying lifted, staying lifted, and then lower the head and chest all the way down. From here, we're gonna go back to bridge. So we're kinda of gonna go back and forth to get a little bit more warm. So I want you to bring your feet into a V position. So put your heels together and your toes apart so your legs make this kind of shape, yeah? You can have your toes on the ground or your toes lifted, but dig your heels together so you feel a little bit of inner thigh work here as well. And then squeeze your glutes and lift up. Lower back down and squeeze and lift. Good, now like I mentioned in our very first set, I want you to think about pulling your body towards your heels instead of pressing your heels, uh, pressing your head away from your heels rather. Yeah, exhale, lift. Feel the glutes right at that crease on the side of the hip. The more you dig those heels together, the more inner thigh and hamstring work you'll get as well. Squeeze and lift and lower. Focus on that squeeze at the top, pausing for just a second. You have to really make the muscles work hard for it, especially when we don't have resistance we can use, right? It's just your body weight and gravity. Good, two more here. And back down. Last one, now we're gonna pause in the lifted position just like we did with our first two sets. Lower your hips halfway, press through the heels and squeeze and lift. Lower halfway, press, squeeze and lift. Good, nice job guys. And exhale, lift. Dig those heels together. Feel the inner thighs and the hamstrings working just a little bit harder. Try and relax your upper body. Focus on that lower half. Good, one more time here. Pause with your hips lifted. Inhale, lift up a little bit higher. And then slowly lower all the way back down. Relaxing those legs down. Taking the feet back to parallel, hips off a distance apart. Arms are going to come down by your sides, and I want you to float one leg up to tabletop so that your knee is stacked over your hip, and your foot comes straight up from there, and then float the other leg up. Now from here, we're just going to try and uh, we'll bring the hands back behind the head. You have two options. Option number one is to keep your head and chest down, and we're going to tap one foot to the floor, and then exhale, lift it up. Yeah, inhale, tap it down. Exhale, lift it up. Notice how I'm reaching my foot a little bit further away to maintain that 90 degree angle behind the knees. Now, if this is plenty challenging, I want you to stick with this today. If you're looking for more of a challenge, we're gonna try and lift the head and chest up and keep it there as we alternate toe taps. Inhale, tap down, and exhale, lift. Inhale, down, exhale, and lift. Feel your belly button. Sink in and down towards your spine as your leg comes back up. Can you keep your shoulder blades lifted up a little bit higher if you have the chest lifted? Good, last one here. Now pause with both legs together. Lower your head and chest down. Lift your head and chest back up. See if you can lower both feet towards the floor and lift both legs back up. Now, if you can't tap both feet down without feeling this in your low back, that's okay. I just want you to lower the legs as far as you can without feeling any discomfort in your low back. Inhale down and exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. See if you can get those shoulder blades lifted up one inch higher. Good, one more time here, You're starting to feel the burn. And lower the head and chest and lower just your left foot to the floor, right leg's gonna stay lifted. Now from here, lift the head and chest back up and twist towards your right leg. Tap your, just your right toes to the floor and exhale, lift the right leg up. So you're staying twisted in the upper body, 
so that's stable, and just moving your right leg. Now we're gonna start by keeping the leg bent. If you can feel the severe obliques and it's feeling challenging enough, stay there. For a little bit more of a challenge, we're gonna extend the leg so the leg is long, flex your foot and lower down, and point your foot and kick up. Flex and lower, and point and kick. Flex and lower, and point and kick. Can you lift your chest up a little bit higher? Focus on using that exhale as the leg comes back up towards the sky, last one. Now pausing with your leg extended. Those of you with tabletop, try and straighten the leg. Pulse your left shoulder towards your right knee. Pulse it up and up. Good, hang in there. Notice how slow the pulses are because we want them to come from your core, not from momentum. Last one. And lower and rest. Everything back down. Going straight into the other side. So left leg comes to tabletop. Lift the head and chest up, twist towards that left side. Start by tapping the left toes and lifting the left toes. Tap and lift. And then remember, for more of a challenge, extend your leg to the sky, flex your foot and lower, and point and kick back up. Flex and lower, and point and kick. Feeling the left obliques here. Trying to stay lifted with that upper body. Flex and lower, and point and kick. Two more, lower and lift. Last one, pause with your leg extended to the side, reach those toes up, pulse your right shoulder to your left knee, pulse it up and up and up. Feel those abs burning. Good, for three and two and one and lower everything down to the floor. Feel those abs, guys. Reach your arms and legs out. And then stretch them out in opposite directions like a nice big good morning stretch. And then zip up your inner thighs, glue your legs together, and hold your arms overhead. Um, from here, I want you to exhale, pull your rib cage in tight towards your spine. Inhale, bring your hands over your face. Exhale, nod your chin towards your chest, and roll up in slow motion, one vertebrae at a time, trying to peel your back off the mat. Hang over your legs, feel that nice big stretch in your back and hamstrings, and then scoop through your belly and roll down one vertebrae at a time, articulating through your spine. Try not to just fall and collapse back. Really use those abs as you roll down. Inhale, take your hands over your head. Exhale, bring your hands back over your face. Nod your chin towards your chest and peel up one vertebrae at a time. Try and set up without any momentum. This takes a lot of practice and then slowly roll it back down, articulating through your spine. Now, if you're having a hard time sitting up here, you have a couple of choices. You can bend your legs and bring your hands behind your thighs for a little bit of help as you sit up, and then you'll wanna string your legs and hang forward to still get the benefits of the stretch. And then for assistance on the way back down, bend the legs back in, hold onto the back of the thighs, and use your arms to help lower with control. Yeah, roll-ups are a tough exercise. Um, in your body proportions, like leg length and torso can make a big difference in whether or not it's easy or really hard. Yeah, and then lower back down. Nice job, again. One more time, bring the hands over your face, exhale, nod, chin to chest. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. This time we're gonna set ourselves all the way up so we're perfectly vertical with the spine. Yeah, sitting from the sits bones in the butts all the way to the crown of the head. And I want you to bring your hands to your forehead. We're gonna exhale, twist two times to the right. Inhale through center, twist left. Inhale through center. Now you'll notice as I twist that my pelvis and my legs don't move. I want you to focus on that twist coming from your waist. Like you're ringing out your waistline each time you twist. Double pulse in each direction. See if you can grow taller from the crown of your head, right? Growing really tall out your spine. One more to the left. Pausing, releasing the arms forward, and then go ahead and roll all the way back down. One vertebrae at a time with control. Now from here, I want you to roll onto your side. You want to roll onto your side so that you can um, see the screen and face your camera. And I want you to lay with your forearm underneath your shoulder, like you're doing a side plank here, and your knees and your hips stacked. 
From here, we're going to bring your top hand to your hip and extend your leg out to the side. And I want you to flex your foot, pull your toes towards your shin. Imagine there's a string coming out your heel and it's reaching your top hip away from you. Lower your foot towards the floor and then squeeze this glute muscle on the side of the hip and lift your leg up. Lower it down and exhale, lift it up. Lower and lift. Now, if this feels plenty challenging and you can feel that glute on the side of the hip and you can feel your obliques on the bottom side, stay there. If you're looking for a little bit more of a challenge today, we're going to float your hip up off the floor so you're in a little side plank as you lower and lift your foot. You're also welcome to get up and try the side plank. And if it feels a little bit too challenging in your body today, you can always lower your hips back down, right? Just choose whatever move feels like the best choice for you today. Yeah, no one's watching, it's just you and me, yeah? Exhale, lift that heel up, squeeze the glutes on both sides of the hips. Inhale down with control. Make the down be just as important as the up. Good, now pause with your hip lifted, or your foot lifted, and pulse your heel up. And up, and up. And I don't know about you guys, but this is where the burn's really starting to happen for me. Good, hang in there. Imagine there's a string coming out your ponytail, and your ponytail's reaching in the opposite direction of your foot. For three, and two, and lower your leg down. Whew. On one. Kind of relax your shoulder a little bit too. All right, breaks over. Pull that shoulder blade down and back. Create space between your ear and your shoulders. This time, we're going to lift your hips up again. You can always keep them down if you need to. Reach that leg back out. Flex your foot. Swing your leg forward. Try not to let your pelvis move. And point your foot and swing it back. Flex and swing forward. Feel that glute on the side of the hip, point, and swing back. Flex, kick forward, point, swing back. Now, sticking with that rhythm here, I want you guys to really feel that glute on the side of the hip. This muscle is really important for creating stability in the pelvis, hips, knees, and back. And ankles, too. It's just really just good for your soul. Yeah? Last one. Swing it back. Oh, and lower down. This time, we're gonna lay all the way down on the side of the body here and extend your legs long and keep the feet flexed. Try and let your head just be heavy on your arm here. I have my palm turned up towards the sky. My top hand is in line with my hip. And I want you to think of reaching your waistline down uh, so that you're trying to create a space at your waist. And it's okay if it doesn't happen. Just think about reaching through your top hip. Um, squeeze your inner thighs and your ankle bones together. Lift both feet up off the floor, and then lower the legs down. Exhale, lift, and inhale, lower. Now, as you lift up, what I want you to feel are your obliques on the side of the body. So you should feel your abs, even in this angle. Exhale, up, and lower. Now, oftentimes, as people lift their legs up, they tighten in their neck. So I want you to focus on relaxing your neck, let your head be heavy, as you lower and lift your legs. Good. Now pause with your legs lifted. Split your feet apart like you're running and switch. Well, I guess running with straight legs. Good. Alternating kicks here. Keeping the feet flexed. Keep reaching the head and the legs away from each other. Probably still feeling burning in that top hip from the previous exercises. That's okay. Good. One more in each direction. Bring the legs together and lower the legs back down. Oh, thank goodness. From here, I want you guys to come back up onto your forearm, into your side plank. We're gonna do a little side bend. So I'm gonna keep my knees bent. This is a nice modified version. Forearm still down. Reach your top arm um, out long. You're gonna lift your hips up into a side plank and then keep lifting your hips up as you laterally bend like you've drawn a rainbow with your arm and then you'll lower back down. So press with the elbow, lift the hips up, let your eyes follow your hand, and lower. Lift it up, and lower. Good. Focus on using the obliques at your waist as you lift and lower the hips. Good. One more time here. Pausing in that lifted position, pulse your hips up, and up, and up. Stay lifted out of that bottom shoulder for three. And two, and one, and lower everything down. And we're gonna roll over onto your belly before we do the other side. 
side, okay, don't worry, I didn't forget. So, <laughs> I wish I could forget. <laughs> Reach your arms and legs out away from each other like a big X, so each corner of the mat. And I want you to think of tucking your tail under here. So squeeze your glutes, and think about pressing your pubic bone down into the mat. That's gonna help protect your low back. We're gonna go into swimming. So slide your shoulders down, squeeze your glutes, lift your feet up off the floor, and then lift your chest and your arms up. Now from here, you're gonna lift your right arm and your left leg up, and then bring those down, and lift your left arm and your right leg up. And we're gonna alternate sides here. And I want you to start by going slow. <sighs> Lifting up half, uh, half of your opposing body at a time. <sighs> slow and control. Try and keep your eyeballs down towards the floor so there's no wrinkles at the back of your neck. Can you squeeze your glute muscles just a little bit more and maybe lift just your chest up a little bit higher? <sighs> Go ahead, hang in there, guys. We'll do one more on each side, lengthen through those arms. Last one, and then lower the head and chest down and rest for just a second. Now we're gonna do it again, but faster. So reach your arms and your legs out, press your pubic bone into the mat, squeeze your glutes, lift your legs, lift your arms and your chest, and we're gonna go for a little swim. So we'll kick again, kick again, kick again, kick. Good, focus on breathing here. And now you've looked behind you and there's a little shark chasing you. So I want you to go a little bit faster. Now see if you can keep your chest and your torso really still and go a little bit faster. Go a little bit faster for three, two, one. Oh, go ahead and rest down. From here, bring your hand underneath your shoulders and you're just gonna press yourself back into a little rest position or child's pose stretch. Stretch out that low back just a little bit here. Couple of deep breaths. Good, and then we're gonna go ahead and swing our legs around for your side work on the other side. So swing yourself around so you can still see, or you can just roll over and listen, whatever works best for you. So we're gonna start the same way we did on the other side. So elbow underneath shoulder, shoulders are stacked, hips are stacked. You can start by keeping the hips down if you are on this side. We're extending your leg long. Keep the foot flexed, reach the foot away from you. Lift your foot up and lower it back down. Lift it up and lower. So remember, this one's for that glute meeting on the outside of the hip and for your ribs, right, and for your waist. So if you're looking for more of a challenge, we'll float your hips up off the floor as we lower and lift your leg. But I would encourage you to just do whatever version makes the most sense for your body, whatever feels like a good challenge, yeah? Stay lifted out of those shoulders. Keep stretching through that heel. You wanna really feel that glute on the top of the hip. Your obliques on the bottom side have to work to stabilize you in this plank. Pause with your hip lifted, your foot lifted, pulse it up and up and up and up. Good, hang in there guys. Use your breath for three and two and one. Go ahead and lower down and relax your shoulder for a second. We'll go right back into it. Yeah, so either keeping the hips down, um, stay lifted out of the shoulder though. Yeah, that's that's important. Pull the shoulder down like into your back hip pocket. Lift your hips back up if you did on the other side. Extend your leg, flex your foot, swing your foot forward, point your foot and swing it back. Flex and swing forward, point and swing back. Flex. Kick forward, point, and swing back. Trying to stick with that rhythm. As your foot goes forward, try not to let your pelvis shift backwards. And as you kick back, we want to try not to let the shoulder shift forward. Good. One more time here. Hang in there. Swing that leg back and press it down. Go ahead and lay all the way flat here. Extend your arm long, we'll give your shoulder a little break here. You can always fold your arm into your head if that's more comfortable. So we're gonna lay with both legs straight. I want you to reach your top foot down away from your bottom foot. Try and create a little bit of a lift at your waist if you can. But if it doesn't happen today, that's okay. Press your hand in front of your chest. Find the support here from your shoulders. Squeeze your abs on the side of the body. Lift both feet up off the floor and lower down. Exhale, lift and inhale lower. Now notice, as I lift my hips up, I'm trying to keep my inner thighs pressed together, 
and my ankles press together. We want to feel the side of the body right in here as you lower and lift your hips, lower and lift your waist rather. Yeah. So it's like I'm trying to bring my hip bone to my rib cage. Good. Now this next one, pause with your legs lifted and we're going to go for a walk. So feet come apart and scissor and switch. Scissor and switch. Trying to keep both legs lifted up off the floor. I know it's tough. Tough on the waist, tough on that top glute. Good. Press into that top arm. Feel the support from your shoulders. One more on each direction. And rest those legs down. Bring the legs back in. Go ahead and bring yourself back up into your side plank, your side bends here. So elbow underneath shoulder. Pull both shoulder blades down and back. We're gonna lift your hips up as you take your arm up and overhead like a rainbow. Focus on lifting your waist up to the sky and then lower everything down. Squeeze and lift. And lower down. And squeeze and lift. And lower. Good, again, take that arm up and over. I know this one's tough on that bottom shoulder too. Good, hang in there, stay lifted out of the neck. Last one, we're going to pause in the lift to plank and pulse your hips up and up and up. Focus on doing the lifting from your waist on that bottom side. And two and one. Lower the hips down and we're going to roll back onto your belly for a little bit more glute work here. So I want you guys, um, let's have you lay all the way flat with your hands stacked and then you can just rest your head on your uh, hands. Slide your shoulders away from your ears, squeeze your glutes, and you're gonna try and lift both feet up off the floor and flex your feet. So pull your toes towards your shins, keeping your feet lifted. Pull your heel in towards your bottom, and then straighten it out. And we'll alternate sides here. And as you pull your heel in towards your butt, what you'll feel is your hamstring on the back of your leg. Now the more you can keep your core contracted, um, by lifting these hip bones up off the floor here, the more you're going to feel that hamstring on the back of the thigh. Good. So if you could really keep that knee lifted as you pull your heel in towards your bottom. I know that part's a little bit tough. Good. We'll do one more on each side. Balancing those little leggies out. And then relax the legs down. Now from here, we're gonna come up onto your hands and knees in quadruped or four point kneeling. So your hands are gonna be right underneath your shoulders and your knees are right underneath your hips. So you want your knees about hip distance apart, spread your fingers wide, press your fingertips into the floor like Spider-Man, and then scoop through your belly, round your back up towards the sky for a little cat-cow, and then arch your chest down towards the floor, keeping those arms straight. Exhale, round your back up towards the sky. And inhale, arch your chest down. And again, rounding up. And pressing the chest and the sternum down. Good. Now maybe right in the middle. So it's a straight line from your head to your tailbone. And I want you guys to straighten your right leg back behind you with your leg extended long. Toes are still on the floor here, and then reach your left arm out in opposition, so it's opposite arm and leg. So I have equal weight between my right hand and my left knee. We're gonna lift your right hand, or your left hand, and your right foot up off the floor, and then tap them back down. Now, if you pick up the screen, you'll notice as I move my arm and my leg, my torso doesn't move at all. It's just the leg and the arm that I'm moving. Try and keep your shoulders far away from your ears. And focus on squeezing from your right butt cheek, now your right glute, to lift and lower your leg. Good. Now pause with your leg lifted, flex your foot, and send your heel to the sky, and try and pulse your heel up to the ceiling. Now, if your balance is feeling a little bit too challenged, you can always put your hand back down on the mat. Yeah? But for more of a balance challenge, try and keep that hand up. Good, for three, and two, and one, and lower that leg down. Switching sides, extending your left leg out behind you, reaching your right arm in front of you, 
float hand and foot up off the floor and lower back down. Now remember, as my hand and leg lift, I'm only lifting as high as I can keep my torso stable. Yeah. So feel the muscles on the back of the shoulder as you lift your arm up and your glute muscles in your left hip as you lift that leg up. Good. Now I want you to pause with the arm and leg lifted if you can. Flex your foot, pull your heel up to the sky, pulse your heel up and up and up. Remember, always an option to put that hand down for better balance. Good, keep reaching through the neck and shoulders for three and two and one and relax everything down. Sit yourself back into that child's pose stretch. Think of sitting your butt back onto your heels and then from here, you can gently walk your hands off to the right side of your mat. Sit your weight into your left hip. Stretch out those left obliques. We did a lot of oblique action today. Really sink your breath into it and then switch sides. So walk your hands to the left. Sit your weight into the right side. Feel that gentle stretch. Good. One more big breath here. And then I want to show you one quick stretch for your tush. Because we did a lot of booty work today. So have a seat um, with your left leg crossed. And then you're going to bring your right leg all the way across that leg. And then stretch your left arm across your body. So you're like a little pretzel. So it's right leg, left arm twist towards the right. Think of pulling your knee towards your opposite shoulder to feel that stretch in your glute muscle. See if you can sit up a little bit taller from the base of your spine. Twist and rotate just a little bit more. And then we'll switch sides. Yeah. So crossing left ankle over right knee. Sit up top. Bring your right arm across your body. Pull your left knee in towards your right shoulder. Nice, big, gentle stretch here. Oh, actually, I don't know how gentle it is. That's a pretty big stretch today. <laughs> so you can grow taller from the base of your spine. Pull that leg in a little bit tighter. Good. And then let go of that leg. And just sit crisscross applesauce here with your hands on your knees. Go ahead and close your eyes. And I want you to take your focus back to your breath. Yeah. So focus on inhaling through your nose. And exhaling out through your mouth. And as you inhale in, I want you to focus on growing tall through the crown of your head. And as you exhale, slide your shoulder blades down your back. Draw your belly in towards your spine. Lift your pelvic floor up to meet your belly button. And then try and keep everything there all day. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. That's all for today. Great job. Give yourselves a round of applause at home. Um, for those of you who are joining us or are new to joining us in Pilates, um, like I mentioned at the beginning of class, I teach for Club Pilates. Um, we have a couple of locations in Indy, one downtown on Mass Ave, another location um, in the North Indy area, one in Fishers and one in Carmel. We usually offer free classes when the studio is open. Um, if you comment below, we can set you up with a free class when we get the doors open again. We would love to see you. Hope you all have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me.